if you can control your dopamine, you can literally hack your brain's ability to focus. And we're going to have a deep dive in today's video showing exactly how you control your dopamine to enhance your deep work. Because if you don't control your dopamine, someone else will. And it's probably one of these social media companies that get you addicted to their platforms. I just spend three hours a day looking at social media, looking at my phone, a piece of glass and metal. Three hours a day over 10 years is a whole year of my life. Addicted to dopamine, addicted to the wrong type of dopamine, getting distracted. And once I was able to learn the science behind dopamine, I was able to control it rather than someone else controlling my dopamine. And I was able to learn one of the most valuable skills in today's day and age, which is being able to sit down and do deep work. Because right now everyone's addicted to their screens and social media, and no one has a skill to sit down and do focused work. So it's a skill in low supply, but it's a skill in demand, which makes it valuable. And if you want to join a community of other people who are learning the most valuable skill in today's day and age, scroll down to the description and click the first link right now. Now we're going to go how to actually control your dopamine so you can control it for motivation and focus and someone else isn't controlling it for you. So you've got to understand first, what is the science of dopamine? What's the impact? Dopamine is a motivation chemical and it helps you stay focused. And so it's a neurotransmitter, which means it's a chemical in your brain that's associated with reward and pleasure. So when you see your phone, dopamine's increased and that gets you motivated to actually go and check your phone. And then once you've checked it, it rewards your brain. That task was good, I'm gonna do it again and again and again. So it motivates you to pursue goals and helps you actually focus in on what are things that are important, what things do you want to actually reward yourself with. And high dopamine levels enhance your motivation and drive, make it, and it makes it easier to start doing tasks. We can figure out what tasks we want to be doing during focused work, and we can actually enhance our motivation to do those tasks. So it can make it effortless to do those tasks rather than being constantly stressed and overwhelmed with all the tasks you've got to do. So by understanding this, we can actually manipulate which tasks give us dopamine and which tasks don't. And the impact of the modern world is that instant gratification like social media, junk food and other pleasures can cause spikes in your dopamine because you're getting rewarded for doing those tasks, leading to a cycle of short-lived dissatisfaction with, no, with long-term dissatisfaction. We've got to eliminate as many tasks that are causing that instant spike in dopamine instant gratification which can actually desensitize your dopamine senses so making it actually harder to get more dopamine and actually pursue long-term goals if you're not seeing any instant rewards anything in life that is worthwhile requires long-term effort but if you're not getting instant rewards you're not going to stick to something long term that's because of this instant gratification if you can eliminate as many instant gratifications as possible then you can focus on the long-term gratification things that'll get take time to actually achieve, but are worthwhile. So the strategies you can use to enhance your dopamine is actually first limiting the instant gratifications, things like YouTube, social media, TV, crap food, get rid of them as many as possible. So once you've eliminated them, then you've got to figure out what are the long-term things that you want to actually get rewards from. So break those long-term goals into small manageable tasks and try and increase your motivation to do those tasks by doing exercise, which actually improves your dopamine. It's a natural way to enhance your baseline's level of dopamine and get quality sleep because in order to actually get more dopamine, reset your dopamine pathways, you've got to get enough sleep. If you don't, they're not going to actually be able to regenerate. And so getting sleep balances your dopamine production and get a, eat a healthy diet and eat a healthy diet. So things like tyrosine are actually what is dopamine created from. So this is found in red meats. So if you eat red meat, it'll enhance your dopamine and give you more dopamine throughout the day. And so you're probably thinking right now, well, I don't, but if you want long-term satisfaction, you've got to have some instant dissatisfaction. So you need to figure out which trade-off do you want right now? And managing dopamine is too complicated and time consuming. We just think of it like this. You're a dog and you can train yourself to do certain tasks. Just like you can, can train a dog to sit. If you figure out what tasks you need to do and reward yourself for doing those tasks, you'll get dopamine. Just like if you reward a dog for sitting, it'll get dopamine. If you reward yourself for doing a certain task, you'll get dopamine. So you've got to treat yourself like a dog. Make it simple. Full plan of action is limit instant gratifications by 
you know, set specific times of periods of activities, you know, like scrolling on social media, watching YouTube, that things that provide, provide immediate rewards, try and limit as many of them as possible. And then engage in long-term goals. So if you want to actually reward yourself for doing those long-term goals, think of something long-term and break it down in what can you do right now today. And you reward yourself like a dog, reward yourself for doing those tasks. And practice exercise, do exercise every single day to improve your dopamine levels, get quality of sleep to reset your dopamine levels and eat a healthy diet to make sure you're eating the right foods that dopamine is actually created from. Now, if you want to join a community of other people learning about the dopamine, learning about the science of deep work and focus, you can scroll down the description and click the first link right now. I've got a full course showing step-by-step -step how to make deep work a daily habit. You can hop on a call with me and we go through and create a whole game plan for you to make deep work effortless. So if you want to join a community of other people making deep work a daily habit, scroll down to the description and click the first link right now.